Breaking news. The North attacks the South, says, so these Yoruban monarchs were solidly behind Sunday Boho even before his arrest. <laughs> no, no, no. You think Sunday Boho is just uh, somebody who was fighting his own deal, just, you know, somebody by the wayside. No, 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 no. He's got the backings of his parents. And when a child is doing something noble, something worthy of, you know, uh, commendation, the parents are proud. They stay beside the child. And, and let's, let's, let's look at it from the very first point. The call for section wouldn't have been if Muhammad Buhari has kept to 10% of his lies he said to Nigerians in 2015. He sold the lies so well that everybody, if not all, were thoroughly persuaded and carried away. Oh yes, that was the lie of the century. What he was going to do, what he was not going to do. And Nigerians were solidly, you know, saying, wow, here comes the Messiah. Here comes the one who will help Nigerians. Little did we know that it was all a lie. There was even nothing there. You know when you see a beautiful Ferrari and somebody comes to say, I've given you a gift, gives you the key, and you are all jubilating, jumping and shouting and calling your friends to come and celebrate. Don't get too excited yet, yes? Wait till you get into the car. Turn on the engine. Be sure that it starts. Not when everybody has celebrated, you are so excited. Maybe you don't know how to drive. You went for your driving lessons, waiting in anticipation to drive the car only to turn it on and they tell you that there is no engine. Uh -huh. That's what happened to Muhammad Buhari and his deceit. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Thank you. The North attacks the South, says, so these Yoruban monarchs will be solidly behind Sunday Igboho, even before his arrest. As many Nigerians were anxiously waiting to hear the outcome of Sunday Igboho's trial, Sahara reporters revealed that Yoruba monarchs have mobilized Storm Benekot, where Sunday Boho was to be tried, as at yesterday. It will be recalled that the popular Yoruba activist was arrested in Kotonou, Benin Republic, the capital, about a week ago, with the Nigerian government pushing for his extradition. The extradition hearing, which was scheduled, was rejected, declined by the Benin Republic. However, one major thing has come out as the traditional leaders mobilized themselves, traveled all the way from Nigeria to Benin Republic to witness Sunday Boho's trial. Following this development, Nigerians from the northern part of the country have continued to ask, so you mean these monarchs were solidly behind Sunday Boho all along? Sunday Boho was not alone. You know, I will just interject there. He was never alone. He was never alone because there are people who are being killed. There is little or nothing they could do. They were stuck. There was little or nothing they could do. You know, Yoruba, the, the monarchs, they stormed the court. You can see some of their pictures. They were there. Okay? They were there. Let's continue. It is argued that the Nigerian government insists on the tradition of Sunday Boho to the country. Was un was unconnect they said it was unconnected to the Yoruba agitation. That it was because he gave Fulani headsmen time to leave Ibarako in Oyo state and, he rec and recall that the Yoruba actives came and vacated them out of the community. This has been the reason why they are after him. Sunday Boho's house was raided and there was an allegation against him that he was stockpiling arms, which was a lie. We all know federal government, they are good at turning the story. Since the activists started the campaign in the Southwest region, they have remained silent, but when he gave the ultimatum for Fulani headsmen to leave, the Fulani clan has vowed to see to it that they arrest him. They've tried, the, they've tried and have tempted arrest before, which never stood. However, the traditional rulers believe their son was fighting for a good cause, which is to allow the people go back to their farmland, live their life, and free Yorubas from the current oppression going on with this administration, as the governors will say nothing. So this is where we are at the moment. You see, you think Sunday Bo was alone? No, 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 no. You know, the, you know, it's not like the 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 the, the elders we are trying to be rebellious or no, no. You, listen, get me right. These elders see their people being killed. They call on their governor. The governor says nothing. In Ibadan, before 
you know, this whole issue blew out and Sunday Boho said, and you know, the whole thing came out. Guess what? Guess what? They've been reporting to the police that they've adopted this person. You know, Saki Fulani has adopted this woman. Her husband went there. They beat him. They put him. He's in their house now. He's been there for a week. They will cry to the police. The police dared not even go to the vicinity. And then you say people should not stand up. When somebody stood up, people were excited and said, finally. And they could breathe a breath of fresh air. Can you remember that it's also soldiers that escorted, you know, Fulani headsmen to a particular community in Southwest. We reported you that news. And we're flogging the people, asking them why they have refused Fulani in their community. Nigerian soldiers, they could not say anything to that statement, you know. Beats people in the community that how come they, 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 they refuse Fulani headsmen from, you know, staying in their community. And they brought in the, Ful the Fulanis and they made their cows eat the people's crops in their very eyes. One was so much beaten that he almost fainted. How many of them were hospitalized? And you think there is no agenda? What kind of a mindset do you think you, what, what do you think is going on here? There is a lot happening. We must not deceive ourselves. Oh, no. The time of deceiving ourselves, that era is long gone. When I say long gone, it's long gone. There is no need to pretend that these things are not happening. My dear, it's happening, no? Before our very before. Uh -huh. Before our eyes. <laughs> it's happening. So why are we deceiving ourselves? Why are we deceiving? Yes? What has Buhari said about the killer Fulani headsmen? Can you tell me? Eh, they are foreigners. What is happening to our borders? Go and check. America and Canada have border. But you don't, you don't just, you don't just stroll into America or stroll into Canada. It's not done. There's what we call the, the border check. You still go with your passport and you, and they check to see that you have the right documentation to be able to enter into this place. You don't just come in and just uh, stroll in and stroll out. It's not done. It's not done. So these are some of the things happening right now as we speak. These are some of the things ongoing. I mean, everybody is proud and happy how far and what our very own brother has done because if you look at it he has helped people who could not speak have a voice he has given them opportunity to be able to you know go back to their farms just that courage even what the traditional leaders could not do not due to no fault of theirs i mean it is what it is you see so that's why sunday Bogo people supported him were there yesterday and eventually You'll be free again. Leave us a comment we'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Bye for now.